Yo, what is going on everybody? This is your boy Chad bringing y'all another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I went from new age, like practices and all that stuff to becoming a believer in Jesus. So this all started, like I said in my previous videos when I was back in college, I was in like complete darkness. Not even darkness like, oh, like, you know, darkness. Like I was in darkness without knowing. I mean, I later on figured out I was in darkness because I realized like, this stuff is getting dark around me. So I was doing, you know, drugs. I was partying. I was having sex. I was drinking. I was doing all these different things. And I would constantly ask the people around me, like, for their opinions on certain things in life, certain things that the media is telling us, certain things that politicians tell us. And certain life experience would just happen to me where it was like I was trying to look for truth. Like everyone can tell me all these different opinions, but I was looking actively for the truth because when I was in, you know, when you're growing up, you know, you kind of like already kind of know the truth. But as like you slowly start going through like middle school and high school and then you get to college, it's like that's when the indoctrination really starts kicking in. So you can really be force fed some stuff that's not true at all. And it's a bunch of opinions or it's a bunch of like social justice stuff um, or things like that or just virtue signaling stuff um, or you can have the truth so I remember one day this is just like a little bit off of me finding truth but I was recording videos for like I used to do interviews for like rappers and music artists and you know videographers photographers camera people just because I like saw like potential in them and so I would get an interview of them before they actually like started blowing up so that way if people want to look them up they would already have videos of them and I remember one day I had just got through recording an interview of one of my homies and I left my bag with the camera um well not the camera but the bag with the my laptop my editing software on the laptop all my USBs with the SD cards in my bag in my car and as I walked away from my car um, like to go into the building because I was like, I don't feel like editing the video tonight, even though I just recorded. I usually edit as soon as I record, but I was like, I don't, you know, feel like editing tonight. I'm just gonna, you know, go on in and just chill. And then a voice in my head was like, no, turn around and grab your bag and edit. And I was like, nah, I don't feel like it. And so I, I tried to keep walking and then it was like, like, I don't know, like my spirit in the inside was like, no like go get your bag and i was like i don't really see the point like so i walked off went in the house went into my dorm slept woke up the next day and somebody broke into my car and stole my laptop the headphones all the recording software all my sd cards everything and a part of me kicked myself because it was like something was warning me and telling me in my spirit and audibly like get your stuff out the car and it was like God talking to me, but you know, at the time I, I still didn't know his voice. So it was just like, oh, like maybe this is like my own intuition. And I mean, you got to trust your intuition. That's kind of one of the things that I've um like started to realize your intuition will save you. So I trust my intuition now. Like if something, if an audible voice goes off or my spirit says, don't do it, I'm not doing it. But that also wasn't the first time that I, um, you know, didn't know his voice um i also you know i told the story about when i was smoking weed how his voice came loud over you know everything that i was doing and told me you know your life will never get better if you stop if you don't stop smoking and so i guess for that situation i had already made the mistake once of not listening so i listened this time and you know it highly benefited me but some of the new age practices just like um, well, that was just another situation where I didn't know God's voice. I mean, I know it now because I've really tried my hardest to get that truth and really, truly know his voice. You know what I mean? So let's fast forward a little bit to where, you know, I'm kind of in the truth, but I still don't know the truth. Like, I know that morally and ethically, some of the things I was doing was not the right way to go about things. And so I was changing those certain habits and certain ways I was moving out here in the world um, to be more beneficial, like being more reserved, knowing my body's a temple, eating right, um, not talking to everybody, you know, not just allowing every spirit and every voice to become a, you know, 
way that I move around in my life because, you know, um, there's a way that seems right to a man, but that way leads to death. And so I was trying not to lean on my own understanding of what was going on. So like the way I used to go about doing things in the world, I would like give myself a second. And I was really like, when I say I was seeking the truth, like I was really praying and just like asking for the way. You know, before any time before in my life, I never really prayed like that. Like, I would just go to bed, wake up, you know, say the whole little, you know, I lay me down to sleep, little prayer. But I was really praying. Like, this was like a time in my life where I was praying, asking for, like, what does this mean? What should I do during this situation? How should I handle this? How should I handle that? And I was getting the answer slowly, but it was still like, I didn't quite know what was going on yet. So fast forward a little bit, you know, I'm kind of in the truth. Um, I'm kind of not, um, I'm like, I got one foot in the world, one foot, you know, trying to get to the kingdom, but I still didn't know God as of yet. So I went through a period of time where I was watching YouTube videos and, you know, most people probably already know, um, you have all those really spiritually woke people. You have like people like Infinite Waters, Soul Illuminati, Von Two Cut, all of them, right? Mm -hmm. So... Give me one second, my mom calling. So yeah, you have people like all that spiritual community. Now, I, I wouldn't tell any of you all any of this stuff if I didn't do it myself. So I used to, my brother used to talk to me about Soul Illuminati and, you know, say all these things and all this other stuff. And I used to watch Infinite Waters like religiously, like, oh, deep prana and, you know, go within and the answers and angel numbers. Now, one thing about all of the stuff that they are telling you, it really does sound good. I'm not going to cap. It sounds good, you know, in theory. But when it comes to actually trying to do the stuff they say, it's like a loss of instructions. Like most of them will say, OK. The answers are within. Go within and get the answers. Now, when I told you all that I was looking for truth and I would try to go within and get the answers, like I said, there's a way that seemeth right to a man, um, but that way will lead to death. And so going within was like, they're like, okay, you know, meditate, get you some sun, get you some sun. Everybody needs to get them some sun because, you know, just get you some sun. But they always say things that are so vague. And what I realized, you know, over time, it only took me like two months to really, truly realize what they were doing was the vague statements and stuff they would give you along with the instructions of go within, just meditate and you'll get these downloads and stuff. It was like, what do I do next? And so they would always have you coming back to them to receive the answers instead of going to God to get the answers. And that's one of the main, I guess, problems I had with it. It was like the instructions they gave you, they never gave me any answers. If when I watch a video, if they say, okay, go within and get the answers and then you'll know. What do they mean by go within? What is, what is go within? What do you do when you go within? Like, there's no instruction to going within. You just what? Close your eyes, go within and the answers come to you what answers there's no process to it all and so when you don't know the process then you're like okay i think i went within you're not really getting any answers then you return back to their videos to continue watching giving them views and stuff then they give you more vague answers now they wrapped a little bit of truth and a lot a lot like there were some points they hit on and then i noticed that a lot of it is like fantasy land stuff i'm not saying this stuff does not exist but it's a lot of um fantasy land concepts like how they'll go down the rabbit hole on 5g and celebrities are evil now most celebrities they may be evil or satan worshipers different things like that it's already been proven but they go down the rabbit hole on so many topics that aren't really they're they're nice to know but they're not beneficial to you harping and going on such deep levels with them because once you start once they start doing like oh everybody's an agent that doesn't agree with you or everybody's this that doesn't agree with you or if you don't do if you don't believe this then you know you're you're lost you're a bot you're a sheep and it's like it kind of forces you to look at everything like okay yes it's good to question stuff around you 
but it makes you question just regular degular stuff that doesn't even need to be questioned like that tree right there that can honestly be some artificial intelligence that they placed here to really suck the life form out of you while you're in your, like no like it, it starts to become a little bit of fantasy land and a lot of people who watch those type of spiritual videos you can attest to the fact that anytime you're like listening to their videos they give you like something where you're like yeah like i could see that and then they hit you with some real rabbit hole stuff and they say oh if you don't know that you need to go within do your research and another thing they also do is they also promote stuff like crystals meditating going within looking into the sun sun gazing looking at the moon moon gazing um all these different practices that aren't of God, like they're doing everything but trying to get to God. And it's like it says, you know, like Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the father except through me. John 14, 6. So it's like they want you to go through all these mediums, tarot cards, you know, tarot cards, um, you know, all that stuff is like demonic. Like, it starts off real innocent. Like, okay, I look at a tarot card. Oh, this resonates with me. Then you go to the next one. Oh, this resonates with me too. Then you go looking and staring in the mirror. And then, you know, mirrors are like portals. Then you um, start putting all your faith in crystals and 333 and 555 and 666 and all that other demonic stuff. And it's like, at first it starts off innocent, but after a while, when you're really getting into it, it's like, instead of you going to God for the answers, you start to go to all these idols and all these like man-made items to try to get, you know, the answers. Like, why would you go to the sun and the moon when someone has already created, when God created the sun and the moon? Why would you worship crystals and put your faith and power in that? Oh, this will calm me down. This will... Instead of just asking God to like, you know, take that type of like anxiety or that type of stuff away. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you have to do all this. You don't have to go to God for, you know, I, I prefer you to go to God for everything. I truly do, because he'll give you the answers. Like it says, ask and it will be given to you. Seeking, you will find. Knocking, the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. Matthew 7, chapter, Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 through 8. So what I was doing during the time of watching these videos, I remember one day I was watching Soul Illuminati, and he was like, I gaze into the sun every day, and I get my downloads, and then I gaze into the mirror, and he's like, do your research, do what you... And I used to be like, what? Like, everything he said, my spirit used to just be, like, disturbed, like... Why would you go stare into the sun? Like, why would you go stare into the mirror? Because I remember back in the day, I used to have like Bloody Mary flicking the lights on off. And I used to never, I never did that because I used to be scared of that stuff, like summoning all these spells and stuff. So I remember one day he was like, oh, just meditate, go with that. I remember I was trying to meditate and I would just close my eyes and just, you know, try to go within, as they say, which it's never worked for me before. But I was like, maybe I'm not giving enough tries. Maybe I'm not doing it right. And they never actually give you the like the proper steps on how to do it. So I remember one day I was going within, trying to meditate. And I remember I started seeing like kind of demonic stuff. I immediately came out the meditation and I was like, this is the last time I look at any of these videos because this isn't the truth. First off, there's no clear instructions on what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not getting anything from going within. I don't know why I'm staring at the sun. I don't know why they had me looking into the mirror. And I used to research these things on Google, like staring into the sun practice or staring into the moon or staring into the mirror or, or using crystals and tarot cards. And you used to always come up with this is divination. This is demonic. They're opening portals that you don't know what they're about. And I was like, yeah, like the only reason these folks have us watching these videos is so they earn them YouTube checks. And the reason we stay watching the videos is because, like I said, they give a little bit of truth, like the 5G cell towers are going up or, oh, this shot is really the mark of the beast. And they're putting they're putting all these nanobots into your body and they're not doing none of that. But what they do is they make it so extreme that you stay away from it because you know yourself like this is a little weird that the shot is making people sick and things like that and you don't really need it but 
they give you the whole nanobots and they're tracking you through the shot and it makes you not want to do it. So it seems true, but it's like they're really going down the rabbit hole with it. Like it's okay to jump down. At, like I've realized it's okay to jump into the rabbit hole and really take a look at things to see what they are. But when you go in the rabbit hole and you just start going down the rabbit hole, you'll get lost in the rabbit hole. And pretty soon you'll start to question so much stuff that you won't actually realize like what's true and what's not, even on stuff you already know is true. And there's no extra explanations to it, if that makes sense. That's what happened to me. Like, you know, I started going down the rabbit hole to where stuff I knew that was true. I started questioning and I started getting confused. And God's not the author of confusion. The devil is. So I already knew off rip. The fact I'm getting confused, this isn't right. And I also, when I was going through this time period, would get so much anxiety and so many intrusive thoughts. And like they say, meditate and you can watch your thought and it'll pass you by. And my brain is like, it watches the thought, it passes by, but then the thought returns and then it comes back. And then when it's trying to leave, it circles back. And then I just became ultra confused. Like I really like, all honesty, y'all, I really didn't know what was going on. Like, I was having like anxiety and panic attacks and all sorts of stuff. And I didn't know why. And I would try their ways and it would not help. Like, it was just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. When I wasn't watching their videos and I was just praying and trusting God or praying to God, whoever I was, you know, trying to pray to, I was trying to seek God for real. I was really trying to seek God. I was talking to God. Like I said, I didn't really know who Jesus was at the time, but I was trying to talk to God. And it was like, okay, like I feel like I'm getting further than when I'm trying to do their stuff. And also when you meditate, you know, um, like a Bible verse I have here is keep this book of the law always on your lips, meditate it meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in on it written in it then you'll be prosperous and successful that's joshua chapter 1 verse 8 so you know if you want to meditate you know now i know find me a bible verse that i like just like there's a bible verse you know whatever you ask for in prayer believing you believing you will receive and so i can meditate on that i could just sit there and say okay Whatever I ask for in prayer, believing I will receive. And the new age way of saying that is manifest. Okay, manifest your stuff. And manifestation, it gets a little demonic too because it's like you're just manifesting. You're, you're trying to make everything happen from you when you're not really in control. You know, either you follow God's will or you try to do your own will. And manifesting is really like, you know, trying to do your own will. Um, asking for whatever you ask for in prayer, believing you will receive is more like you're trying to align your will with God. You know, you're asking for God for it. You're believing that it will happen. And if it aligns with his will, you know, you'll receive it. And even if it doesn't align with his will, because you're asking him for it with God, anything's possible. So he can make the way if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, I had just gotten out of the whole spirituality thing. That's when I really just turned all of them off. I stopped watching Infinite Waters, all that prana, all that third eye awakening, because that's demonic too, the third eye awakening and all that. Um, then I remember, like I said in my smoking video, um, a dude was like, stop smoking weed. And then he was like, you know, in the Bible, um, he read a verse like, always remain sober because the devil's like a roaring lion seeking whom he can devour. And it was, excuse me, at that moment that I knew, you know, this is what I need. Like, this is concrete truth. You know, it's a difference. Have y'all ever been like confused about a certain topic, a certain subject, confused about like an answer that you need for the test? And you're just like, you're going around looking for the answer. You can't find it. And when you get the answer, you know how it resonates so hard with you. Like, dang, like, this is all I've been missing. And I guess to me, people in the world, they hate on the Bible and Jesus so much because I think most of them, I don't know. I think most people truly don't understand or people have made it too complicated for them to understand. Like if you were to compare believing in crystals, tarot cards, gazing in the sun, gazing in the moon, going within, um, following angel numbers and doing all these different practices, then just putting your faith in Jesus and in God, praying at night, reading you a little Bible every now and then, which is way easier. Like it's actually like, 
if you want to have instructions for how to leave a, live a spiritually healthy life and see the results like the bible is nothing but instructions for how to live life like i kid i kid you not when i finally started reading my bible and stuff like you know asking you know praying and believing you will receive you know when i started doing that type of stuff it was like bro like this is literally instructions. Like literally, if I had this before, you know, where I was trying to be would have accelerated so much quicker because instead of me being confused or doing all these different practices because they legit don't work or they may work for a little bit and then it starts getting demonic and then you like hop off that practice and move to this practice in a new age. It's like, it's all I asked for. And so, like, after I heard that whole Bible verse, like I said, you know, always remain sober because the devil's like a roaring lion seeking whom he, whom he can devour. I finally realized, like, this is what I've been missing. And so I started looking at God videos. And then, you know, one thing I want people to stay away from is try to stay away from those God videos where people are like, the rapture's happening soon. And if you're not right with Jesus, then because I started getting to a point when I was first starting off my walk with Christ where... I was getting anxious because I felt like I knew who God was. I knew him, but I was so anxious because I was like, am I real? Am I prepared? Like, will I go up in the rapture? Like, or am I going to die? Am I going to hell? Like, I know who he is, but I don't really truly know him. And, I, and then they were like, get a relationship with him. And I was like, relationship. But I'm just going to tell y'all now, you know, you just got to calm down, read the Bible, you know, start first, start repenting. And all repenting is really turn from the ways that you used to do. So just turn away from all that divination, that sorcery, that new age practice stuff and turn to God and just let God know, you know, God, I'm sorry. I didn't know what I was getting myself into before. You know, I saw where my life was headed. You know, I just want to be better. I just, I just want to come to you with an open heart. And that's what I was doing. I didn't know it at the time, but I was like turning away from smoking, drinking, partying, sex, all that, because I was trying to find the truth and everything that I was doing wasn't fulfilling me. So I would just turn to God. I would pray. And I didn't know that that's what it was called at the time, repenting. It was like I had a changed mind about what I was doing before I even knew God, because I was like, if I don't change, I knew in my head, like, I kid you not, I sat down in my room and fought myself for like a month. Like I knew the problems that I was going through and how they were really my fault. I couldn't blame anybody for the way I was. And so I went through like some serious dark times, just me, myself and God, who I was praying to about what was going on in my life and trying to change those things about myself. And it just first started with me quitting everything I was doing and just repenting. And I just repented, got a change of mind started seeing everything was becoming a little bit better. And then, like I said, I was watching the God videos. They were talking about the rapture. I was getting lots of anxiety. So I had to stop watching them. And, you know, once you start watching the God videos and stuff on YouTube, you know, you can't trust everybody because some people are wolves and sheepskin, but a lot of them are trying to help you. And so, you know, you just got to take it. You got to take it one day at a time with God. God's not one for you to try to rush the process, right? It's going to take some time. It truly is. So, you know, you just want to research your God videos, you know, read you some Bible scriptures, you know, pray on them, meditate on them. And meditate is really just like, you know, sit down and really just truly think about that scripture you read. Because a lot of the scriptures, when you're in darkness, if they, when they hit and they resonate, they hit that soul. They like, dang, like, God, you really there for me. Like, that's how it is. Like, you really there. Like, through all this darkness, you were still there. Like, you never left. You never, you never told me, bye, I don't love you no more. Like, you were always there. Like, as soon as I came out of darkness, it was like he was there. And I was like, dang, bro, like, I don't deserve this. But you've been there for me. That's love, my dog. Like, that's love. And because you love me that much, I'm going to love you and do what you asked me to do. And plus, he doesn't even give you too much that you can't handle. God never gives us too much you can't handle. If you're going through a lot, then he's got a big plan for you. I know that sounds like, oh, you know, you're going through a lot and everybody says, yeah, and then you, but when you, when you trust God, you have faith in God and you trust where he's taking you, you can actually see the progress in the work. Even though, you know, like, man, I'm going through the fire. Like I'm really getting tested. You can see the progress that you've made with him. Like he actively will like tell you like you're on the right track, like what you're doing, like 
you know, you used to have a different mindset for that type of thing. And so it just really benefits you in my eyes. Um, it's just a whole lot better. And so, you know, back in 2020, during the summer, I went and got baptized because they're like, you know, if you want to be a follower and just repent of all your sins, that way they're all forgiven, just be baptized. And plus when, you know, you got to think about it. I was in the world full of darkness following every other teaching but God in the Bible. And only one of them has caused me not to have any anxiety. Only one of them is able to forgive me of my sins. Only one of them loves me even when I didn't love myself or was in complete darkness. Another one doesn't make fun of me for being asleep and then now becoming awake. Because when you're in the new age, everybody's a bi, everybody's a sheep, everybody's this, everybody's that. But when you're in the truth, you know, God realizes like, you know, it, it takes people a while to wake up. It takes you a while to become aware. You know, some people, they find the truth through trauma. Some people find the truth through seeking it. I wanted the truth. There's nothing anyone could tell me. People could tell me, yeah, Chad, I think you should do A, B, C, and D. I think you should do this. And I'd be like, nah, like, I, why? And they would give me some convoluted answer. And it's like, I need the truth, bro. Like, I don't care what you're talking about. I need truth. And that's all the Bible and Jesus is. He is the way, the truth, the life. And no one comes to the father, but through him. And it's like, I can't go to crystals to go to, to God. I can't go to the sun to get to God. I can't go to the moon to get to God. I can't go to, you know, tarot cards to get to God. The only way to God is through Jesus. And Jesus forgives you of all your sins and all that anxiety, all that darkness, all that not feeling loved, bruh. You put it on Jesus and he just gives all the love to you. Like literally, it's the easiest thing. Like his yoke is so light. It's so light. So yeah, man, I just want to let y'all know that video because I've been meaning to do this video for a little minute. Um, I kind of got distracted. God had told me to do this video a while ago. Um, you know, I had to make sure I want to do this video. Um, so I just woke up today and I was like, I got to get it done. It needs to be said because there are people, there are probably people out there who've been through the same thing. You know, I put up the smoking weed video. I see a lot of people have gone through the same types of things as me. And I know for a fact, if smoking weed is like that, I know there are people out there who are in darkness and they're not sure what's going on because I'm being for real. It is a lot of confusion when it comes to that new age stuff, because there's no real guidelines and instructions. You know, everybody's like, you know, everybody has their own path and everybody's doing their. But when spirit, when people say spirituality, there's no real path. There's no instructions. There is a path. There are instructions, stuff to benefit you. Like God says in this Bible, my ways are to benefit you, like to lead you down good paths, not to harm you. All that divination stuff, it starts off looking like I'm on the right path. And then it just takes hard left turns. And it's like. You start inviting spirits that you didn't know. You start going down the rabbit hole. You start confusing yourself on stuff that you already know is true. You start doing things that, you know, quite frankly, you you know, like it, it just doesn't benefit you. But yeah, man, I just wanted to make this video, you know, just, you know, reasoning with you all, not even reasoning, but just telling you all, you know, how I went from new age practices to being a believer in Jesus. And, you know, now that I'm a believer in Jesus, and I've accepted Jesus. I've been baptized. I kid y'all not. I, I don't worry about most anything anymore. I just pray. I read me a little bit of the Bible. I seek God. I ask him, what season are we in? I ask him, what does he want me to do? I just try to stay on the straight path. And I try to do what he asks me. And literally, I'm living a life that is so stress-free. Like, if I could, if you could see me, not even a year ago, but like, oh yeah. If you can meet the Chad a year to two to three years ago to the Chad I am today. I mean, it's taken me like a good year to really get a firm understanding of the whole Jesus and God after I accepted him. And just, you know, it takes time to just get into it properly than it does to just like rush the process. If you could have just met me a long time ago, you'd be like, dang, like you really have changed. Like, you used to be like A, B, C, D, and now you're completely different. And when you accept God and Jesus, he forms a good work. And that's the point of God and Jesus. That, that like darkness you're in and the ways you're trying to change about yourself, 
you actually do make the change. Like it, he says you will be a changed person. If you're not changed after you accept Jesus and God, then you're not really doing any work with him in the first place. You're not trying to be different. You're just trying to say, yeah, I know God. Everybody claims to know God. But everybody does, but everybody's the exact same as when they claim they knew God. If you haven't changed as a person, like he's there to change you. So you repent, you change your mind, which means your actions change too. You know what I mean? And, you know, yeah, I just hope this video resonated with someone. I hope y'all um can honestly feel where I'm coming from because God and Jesus, they're the way. I, I know I don't want to Bible thump. I don't want to force my beliefs upon you, but I'm just letting you know, you know, coming from new age to being a believer, the new age is full of confusion. Like I can definitely see how people get lost. And it's even got to the point where people realize what these YouTubers are doing, how they're just getting YouTube checks and stuff from spewing this stuff. But they constantly come back for like either entertainment or they come back for half truths and then they turn them off. And it's like you shouldn't ever. That's how you know they're false prophets, because every time they give you something, if it's a half truth, which you how you can tell somebody's a false prophet is if they lead you back to themselves or they lead you to God. If you ever hear some knowledge and they say, go within and blah, 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 blah. And then you're always confused and you waiting for their next video to come out to figure out what's going on. They're a false prophet. But if they always lead you back to God, like, OK, yeah, pray, ask God for forgiveness, seek God and he'll give you the answer. That's someone who's trying to lead you. That's not a false prophet. Most of these new age spirituality people, they always lead you back to themselves for the answers. They, they, I guess they think they're God with all the answers and they're not. And, you know, even like Von to cut, he stopped doing his little spiritual videos because he just like, I don't want to do it no more. And it's like, well, he already got all the YouTube checks and stuff off of it. He already got people believing he on the side. And then now people are like, oh, he's an agent. He's, and it's all nonsense. But yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I'm about to go ahead and go leave a comment down below um, with your thoughts. And as always been your boy, Chad, and I'm out. Peace.